about the dance and poetry. The Alcalanes. And I know it's getting later. I'll just get right into it. I don't know. But uh, Mary Oliver just died this week, and I have not heard of Mary Oliver previously. But my friend told me this. We have to be a little quiet on the Joey Oliver. Hey. Mysteries, yes. Truly, we live with mysteries too marvelous to be understood. How grass can be nourishing in the mouths of lambs, how rivers and stones are forever in allegiance with gravity while we ourselves dream of rising. How two hands touch and the bond will never be broken. How people come from delight or scars of damage to the comfort of a poem. Let me keep my distance always from those who think they have the answers. Let me keep company always with those who say, look, and laugh in astonishment, and bow their heads. That was Mary Oliver. And then while I'm torturing you, I got one more from John Keats. So, a little old-timey language in here. A cricket is a fireplace cricket. Tom can explain to you how they work. This is on the grasshopper and the cricket. The poetry of earth is never dead. When all the birds are faint with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees, a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new mown mead. That is the grasshoppers, he takes the lead. In summer luxury, he has never done with his delights. For when tired out with fun, he rests with at ease beneath some pleasant weed. The poetry of earth is ceasing never on a lone winter evening when the frost has wrought a silence from the stove. There shrills the cricket's song, a warmth increasing ever and seems to one in drowsiness half lost the grasshoppers among some grassy hills. Yeah. So keep that in mind tomorrow when you're freezing. Wow, yeah. Snowfall. Like the fireplace. Nice. Fireplace. <laughs> <laughs>
Gina.